Hey, how's it gamers? Uh, sorry I got my shirt off today. Um, it's just super hot here in Hawaii. Um, been super humid these past couple days. Um, here sweating my ass off, but uh, you know what? Today I'm going to show you guys how to actually make great looking backups of your Sega Saturn games. Um, you know, if you have your imports or your domestic games, you know, they're super expensive. And instead of, you know, using standard um, CDRs and having your results look like this, pretty horrible. Um, you can have great looking results using light stripe discs that you can get from either Amazon or eBay. You can get this whole cake for less than $20. You get super nice looking results. I've never had a coaster um, turn out. So. Here's a variety of diffs I made uh, using various artwork on around the web. And again, you can create your own artwork or use um, scans to spread off the original disc, like this one here. Here you can see the darkness difference between these two discs. Really depends on what burner you're using. These were both just burned one time but you can burn it a second time to actually darken it. But later I'm gonna recommend a specific burner you can use so you can get a dark result from just a single burn. If you don't already have a light spray burner, this is a cheap way to get one. I went to eBay, store here, laptop paid, and bought um, a light spray burner that was taken off of a laptop. Now search for a model ts l 633 and um, you should get a ton of results. I recommend this particular model because again it uh, really burns a dark image on the first burn. As you can see these burners are dirt cheap and it's very very economical. Now you'll need a slim line SATA USB cable. Um, this is to connect the internal drive to your uh, laptop or computer, allowing you to actually do the burning process. So, for roughly $12, you can have what is essentially an external light scribe burner. If you're on Mac, go to the Lacey webpage here and download their Lacey light scribe software. Now go to lightscribesoftware.org and download the Lightscribe system software which is necessary. If you're on Windows, you can also find free software um, the Lightscribe Simple Labeler. Um, again, this is all free software. Now do a Google search for CD template and find an image where the edge of the disk reaches the edge of the image, roughly looking like the one pictured here. You can use resources like Sega Retro to download already scanned images of uh, game discs. Um, this will save you a lot of time from doing the scans yourself. Now use Photoshop or any other e image editing software to use the CD template as an upper layer and your CD artwork as the bottom layer. This will give you an idea of what uh, the burn will look like on your uh, final burned CD. This will let you position or stretch the image as necessary so it will fit properly on the CD.
I find when I turn the images to black and white images, it'll give you a more accurate portrayal of what you'll see in the final result when you do burn your artwork to your disc. Here I'm creating a layer for the bottom portion of the disc. I really want to adjust the contrast separately from the upper portion, the upper colored part of the disc. I find when you turn this layer into a black and white image and tweak the yellow band this way, that it takes away a lot of the color noise left on the bottom portion of the disc, as you can see here. Now select the other bottom layer and turn that layer into a black and white image. Now you can either export the file as a JPEG or keep it as is as a Photoshop file. If you're on Mac, you can go ahead and open up the Lacy Lightscribe software. From this drop down menu, select full. Here in the sidebar, select edit. Now select your file and drag it into that box. Make sure you delete that subtitle on the bottom portion of the disk. Um, this software is really powerful and you can see all the uh, editing options that you can do straight from this software. When you're done, hit the print button and when you do you'll see this pop-up window. If you had your drive hooked up to your USB port, you would see this window with your drive information. Unfortunately I don't and then you'll see the dialog on the bottom right corner um, with the uh, button allowing you to print. The Windows software is pretty similar to the Lacy Mac software. Again, you can follow what I'm doing here and um, pretty easy. You can't really go wrong. Um, but it does have the advantage of letting you choose. Um, if you do have colored light stripe disc, you can choose you know, your colors. I don't know what the difference that makes since I've never tried the colored disc. They're more expensive than the regular uh, yellow colored ones or copper colored ones um, so yeah but uh, you know if you found this video helpful go ahead and hit the uh, like button or please subscribe because I'm gonna be making a ton more videos I'm not just uh, Saturn stuff but um, some other Sega stuff see ya